I'm Kelly Swoo. And I'm Jamie Costello. It's going to be real interesting to look at the attendance sheet tomorrow at River Hill High. Yeah, there was a hoax at this Howard County School that set up parents scrambling to get their kids, police scrambling to find out what they had. WMR2 News Ashley McDowell with what we know tonight. What a scary day, Ashley. And a scare it was, but thankfully the all clear was given and students returned safely to their family. Howard County Police are saying they believe the threat to be a hoax, but are still investigating the incoming call. I, I need to get to see my kid, hug him and making sure that he's doing OK. Parents held their kids a little closer this evening during a late dismissal after a gun and bomb threat was called into River Hill High School a little before 2 p.m. The school immediately went into lockdown. All doors were locked. Students and staff barricaded in classrooms. After a thorough search by the Howard County Police Department, students were transported to the Tin Oaks Ballroom to be reunited with their parents. In the classroom, we had to get one of the SWAT members to, and they would bang on the door and say Howard County Police and then they'd come in and escort us. And it's like a lineup of SWAT guys and then we'd walk out the door and onto a bus with our hands up. Some parents felt authorities had the situation under control. The police and the fire department have done an amazing job with trying to keep it organized as much as possible. I mean, this is a situation that they've never had to deal with before. Um, and because of that, you know, obviously they're putting a lot of their skills to the test. A few of the students say they felt safe, but the dismissal was slow. Like I knew the school would have like kept us safe because that's like the utmost priority. So I wasn't too scared of anything. Like when I was escorted, I saw cops down the whole hallways, everything. They had everything under control security wise, but like moving students through, no. The superintendent put out a statement encouraging any student that needs support to con connect with a council or other service staff at the school. Back to you guys. All right.